Pit Run is a motherfucking <laughs> cocksucking thrill ride where you see a lot of your favorite people, action, romance, comedy, and butt fucking. You're absolutely perfect. And if you want, I'll spend the rest of your life with you. I'm up for it. Uh. Sorry. Hey, babe, who's there? Holy shit. We were best friends and you betrayed me. You know what? Fuck you. What's going on? I was kind of involved in bank robbing. You're a bank robber? Would you describe this film as the balls out comedy of the summer or the dick swinginest comedy of the summer? I'm gonna go for balls out. Oh, the dick swinging is, uh, because we do have a big dick swinging in this thing. The cock balls, balls out, out. Mm -hmm. cock balls movie out. of the summer. This, yeah, the swinging cock and balls out. That kind of covers all the bases, I yeah. think, and, quite well. And there's a fair amount of dick swinging as well. And there's a lot of ball sack going on. Awesome right, sack. Yeah. Awesome okay. ball sack going on. Look at Captain Longdick out there. This guy like to fuck or what? Is it possible to have too many dicks in one film? I don't not, think so. Not in my opinion. I think all humans are attracted to the phallus. And um, maybe guys even more than females. Even straight guys. There, you know, there's something um, there's evolutionary and about it. by it is a little bit different. I would use a different descriptor. What the fuck are you even talking about right now? I don't know how old he is, but it depends on how hard his life was when he's between 60 and 90. I wish we did more takes in that room. Have you ever seen your dad naked? Here's the deal. You see your dad naked, you know that your balls are gonna be hanging down to here at some point in your life. But this, but to have the dick match it? Are you fucking kidding me? That's what this guy's got going. Yeah. Guys are fascinated by other guys' penises. I think we're safe to say that. <laughs> Coffee or like, oh, fuck. I wonder who got the Grundle camera duty. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That was the best. The Grundle oh, camera. Oh, well, the Grundle that camera. is the Tell me more about that. I need to have a, my personal like reel of just the outtakes from all of the camera angles from that day. You mean this show? Yeah. That would just make my life. Because <laughs> it's your best friend. Okay, you're the guy behind the guy's right. ass. Shoot <laughs> that's up. right. Just nutsack yeah. all up in your shit. Damn, that's commitment. That was a conversation we had to have with that actor where I said, uh, you know, I knew I wanted to bring him back and get that shot. That's kind of the um the graduate shot, if you will. <laughs> uh, That's a good way to put it. The we, Bradley Cooper's new hat shot. Yeah, I swear to God, he got all the naked old people. But Craigslist, he said it was very easy. I bet he's done it since the movie was done, too. <laughs> he was down to party, thank God, because it's one of the more inventive shots of our movie. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a prison thing. Is there a better way to win an argument than using the buttfuck card? That's the most important thing in life. So yes, that wins every argument. It's a showstopper. Huh? Wait, what? I was buttfucked by a Filipino dude, okay? It's a showstopper. It'll give everyone perspective literally in a hurry. and figuratively. Yes. Yes. Or literally and physically. Yes. I, I thought you meant in a relationship. Oh no. I was. No, I was. No. Okay. You just switch gears back to the movie. Okay. I'm like. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want to do that. He was just getting fucking pounded by different dudes in the ass every day. You know, eventually humanity, because we are, we'd be like, wow, I feel kind of bad for that guy. It only works if you, if it happened in prison. It doesn't really work. I didn't think it would hurt that bad. How do you know when you're in the jack off booth in your chosen profession? That way, are you, are you saying jack off booth is a negative way or a positive way? Well, if, you're, if your chosen profession is the jack off booth, then it's a positive way. Wait a minute, can I get paid to be in a jack off booth? Because I would do that. Having sex or having hand jobs? Yep. Let me tell you something, man. I have uh, done the in vitro fertilization process with several women, and that requires going down to a, a clinic, medical clinic, and going into a room smaller than this room, obviously, and hopefully watching lesbian porn on the good ones. And if not, you're looking at a freaking swan on the wall and squinting, trying to make it become a vagina. And, and that is pressure. When it's seven in the morning and you must produce because you've got your, your poor wife has been taking shots for three months and this is go fucking go time, man. And it can't be a little, it's gotta be a good, you know, a good run. You've gotta be at your best. That's pressure. Seen if it worked, guy. So the idea of uh, 
you know, a jack off booth for, you know, pleasure. I mean, compared to what I've been through, it sounds like the easiest job in the world. So one of those white guys, those fucking Nazis. Charlie, could have been Latino, could have been Tongan, could have been Persian. Like all black dudes think of us as women, I think of all Asians as women. You hooked up with an Asian lady. Guess what, a cock in your ass doesn't feel like you're fucking a woman. In my experience. This is the fucking best fucking ass movie you'll fucking ever see in your whole fucking life. You're gonna fucking love it. This motherfucker will blow your mind, hit and run. Fucking A. Who's your daddy? It's no good!